make things on news. The United States of America is at a 40-year high. According to a government report released on Wednesday, inflation, which is the rate at which prices rise, has hit 9.1% in the 12 months to June. This has been blamed on prices of petrol and food remaining high in recent months. Inflation will now be a top concern for many Americans and is likely to influence many voters in the coming midterm elections in November in the country. U.S. petrol prices hit record highs last month, averaging above 5 per dollar gallon. The latest data has led to predictions that the U.S. Federal Reserve Bank will hike interest rates once again later this month. Some experts believe that it is the central bank that can raise rate hike of possibly 100 basis points this month itself. The U.S. inflation rate is now at its highest level since November 1981, having risen from 8.6% in May. Investors are betting they will raise interest rates by a full point later this month. Just a few weeks ago, they raised it by 75 basis points, the biggest increase since 1994. That's back when Chumbawamba was getting knocked down, but they got back up again. But is it too late for this economy to get back up again and tackle inflation? And are we looking at a recession sooner than later? Wow. They're, they're, they're doing, this isn't a policy meeting where they surprised with a bigger than expected cut. There weren't meetings today. The, the, this was the, the uh, was announced on Facebook from the Banco Central and Filipinas. And in fact, Felipe Medalla said in a statement uh, that uh, they commit, they're committed to take further actions to stir CPI toward the goal. They just had an outsized hike, 6.1% year over year in June from 5.4% in May. Our Bloomberg economics team said, well, that means they'll probably raise rates by 50 basis points at their next meeting on August 18th. No, they did 75 basis points today. He continues to urge timely non-monetary interventions, uh, perhaps he means currency market interventions, and he said uh, this aims to manage spillovers from other countries. Okay, who, U.S. and other ones doing these big rate hikes. They're not waiting to see ha what happens. They're moving ahead aggressively Stocks now. ended lower on Wednesday, but off-session lows as investors digested worse-than-expected inflation data. The Labor Department's Consumer Price Index jumped 9.1 percent in June, the highest rate in more than four decades, fueling fears that the Federal Reserve could supercharge its fight against inflation by raising interest rates by as much as 100 basis points later this month. The Dow lost about two-thirds of a percent, the S&P 500 fell nearly half a percent, and the Nasdaq ended down fractionally. Robert Shine, chief investment officer at Blanky Shine Wealth Management, said the chances of a full percent rate hike by the Fed was unlikely. A hundred basis point um, increase in the Fed funds rate for the next upcoming meeting would show that the Fed is absolutely committed to staying ahead of inflation. The, the, the chances are that they do that is probably not very good, even though betting odds are showing there's a shift this morning because of the hot CPI uh, report. But that being said, I think the, the Federal Reserve is going to maintain a fair, consistent and a communicative approach, uh, which is just measured. So I think 75 basis points is probably the best bet uh, what the Fed's gonna do in the next meeting.